Welcome to Flash RFI by Restaurant CIOs, here to help simplify your hunt for restaurant technology. Today in the Flash RFI, the POS system series, we look at Toast. Headquartered in Boston, uh, with offices in Chicago, Dublin, and a couple other places around the country, uh, the product is Toast as well. Uh, it's been available for about eight years, and they release about every four to six weeks. Today, I'm talking with Jonathan Vassell, GM of Toast. Welcome, Jonathan. Hey, thanks for having me, Joe. I hope I pronounced your name right. Did I do that? You did. You did a great yeah, job. If you've watched others, man, I've had trouble. So, all right. So let's get to it. We know how this thing works. Uh, so first of all, how many stores are currently installed and what is the segment breakdown? Yep. So in 2020, we grew to over 40,000 live locations in the U.S. And uh, the segment breakdown is pretty distributed across all of the segments uh, within the restaurant industry, ranging from fine dining and, and full serve down to cafes and bakeries and more quick serve. So we really cover it all. Gotcha. So what segment are you best suited for? Not everything can be everything to all people. So what's your sweet spot? You know, it's a, it's a great question. I, I think because of our cloud and kind of Android platform, our product is super extensible and, and incredibly nimble. And it really offers a strong value proposition to really all segments. Uh, and I think nothing better illustrates this than our relationship with uh, let us entertain you, which is a large operator, I think north of 100 restaurants in the U.S. And within their, within their portfolio, they have concepts ranging from high-end full service, donut shops, to fast casual burger concepts. And, uh, and so I think that captures, in, in, in many ways, the, the broad diversity of our system and, and how really any, type, any restaurant type can use it. And I also think, if you think about the restaurant TAM and the different components or segments that, uh, that, that uh, are part of it, um, and if you look at our growth, it would really be hard for us to grow as fast as we're growing if we only served one segment of the TAM, right? And so I think um, between Let Us Entertain You and our relationship with, with that brand that covers many segments and our, really our growth rate, I think it represents our ability to serve restaurants of all types. Okay. So uh, speaking, you, you mentioned one, maybe that's not your biggest. Who are your three biggest brands right now? Yeah, the three I'll reference are Nothing Bunt Cakes, uh, Jamba Juice, which is you know, great smoothies and uh, I'd say let, let us entertain you is another one of our largest brands. Okay, thanks. Uh, so, all right, so this is a big one and, and this is probably the, the sweet, the, the, the one that people look forward to the most. So what differentiates you, Toast, from your competitors? Yeah, it's a great question. And it's one that we're constant, we're obsessed with, right? Um, you know, first I, I'll break that answer down into two pieces. There's, there's the what differenti differentiates you from your competitors and maybe even important is how. We do it on, 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 the, on the what, again, I mentioned our cloud plus Android platform, which gives us development agility, right? Which was certainly highlighted when COVID hit about a year ago. Uh, and like we mentioned, we're releasing new features and new product because of our cloud infrastructure every four to six weeks. We're releasing a thousand new features a year. So our product is getting better and iterating every, every, every month pretty much because of our, our cloud infrastructure. We've got a, a robust, large API and partner ecosystem. We have hundreds of integration partners that solve very, very acute needs for our customers. And again, because we're built on Android, we have custom built commercial grade hardware, right? Um, Apple products are phenomenal. I've, I'm, I've got a MacBook right now and, and an iPhone, but they're really meant for consumers and not meant to be in robust, uh, volatile environments that kitchens and restaurants offer. And so uh, our, our native, um, Hardware suite with our handheld devices that enable contactless payments and EMV are, are a big piece of that. So that, that kind of captures the what. On the how, you know, I think we're, we are a mission-driven company. We endeavor to enable our community of restaurateurs to delight their guests and do what they, lo do what they love and thrive. And uh, that's not, that's, that's a real part of our DNA at Toast. Uh, we're 100% restaurant focused. We don't serve other verticals and we don't have to compete uh, internally for resources for the restaurant business because we're only a restaurant business uh, and I think 75 percent of our team has restaurant experience and so they really understand the requirements needed to run a successful restaurant and we have a lot of empathy for for restaurant operators gotcha so um what, where do you spend your r&d dollars what, what's your roadmap look like yeah it's a great question i think we came out and said not not too uh you know, somewhat recently that we're going to spend a billion dollars in r&d over the next five years so uh, I think we're spending as much, if not more, than anyone in our space, certainly in, in the restaurant space. And a lot of that is going into, uh, you know, our native kitchen display system, native online ordering, which has become incredibly important 
for restaurants, uh, given the, the events of the last 12 months. Our contactless experiences, including order and pay at the table with QR codes, we've got a, a tool now where a restaurant or a consumer can walk in, they can order on their phone and pay, and not have to worry about um, uh, in, handling the menu. It also helps turn tables much faster and, and makes um, restaurant employees that much more productive. We're, we're investing quite a bit into third party delivery integrations and other last mile offerings, given the proliferation of, of takeout and delivery over the last 12 months. And we're beginning to go deeper into specific subsegments uh, of the TAM that will, will again provide even more kind of uh, acute um, value to, to customers across the US. All right, um, I'm trying to speed up here. So uh, what's the percentage? You need, I don't need specific percentages, but we're trying to get a feel for how you spend, uh, where, where your staffing is, where your resources are as far as sales, R&D, support, DevOps, just kind of the balance of those things. Yeah, so we're, we're at about 1,500 employees now. That's going to grow considerably in really all of those areas. Um, R&D, support, sales, general administrative, all of those areas are getting the, the appropriate investment for us to serve our customers. I think Right now, our, our, our MPS score within our space is, is the highest of all of our competitors. I think that represents not just investment in R&D or just in sales, but really across the organization. Uh, your core architecture, you mentioned cloud. Um, so uh, why do you think this is the best approach? Man, I, I'm, I'm su super passionate about this one. Uh, the benefits of, of cloud software are numerous. We've seen many companies and uh, really many verticals and in different uh, spaces migrate to the cloud. Number one, it provides a true kind of customer feedback loop and continuous improvement cycle. I mentioned the 1,000 new features that we've deployed this year to our existing customers that would be impossible to do in a non-cloud environment. Immediate access to data, really from anywhere in the world. Uh, mobility from within the restaurant, that's a great example for our handheld product and other handheld devices. And uh, native connected platforms like online ordering. Gotcha, good. Um, how do I get access to my, uh, oh, I'm sorry, back it up, to a hardware solution. You've already mentioned Android. I don't think we've got to go in. You've got proprietary hardware, right? We do. We, we offer our own uh, Toast Flex hardware along with ELO terminals. Um, uh, we, we have both Toast and Epson printers. Okay, gotcha. Um, how do I get access to my transactional data? Yeah, so we, we provide several paths for our customers to gain access to the data that they need to run their business. Our standard web-based reporting, data exports and bi-directional integrations. So you can get it through our standard reporting, automated daily exports, and the API work that a lot of our customers have built uh, to extract the data that they need. All right. Now, you, you mentioned the ecosystem for partners. Uh, tell me a little bit more about the, how people get involved, how people connect, how easy it is or not. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's great. It's a great part of our, our open network, right? And this is, this is because we, we write on, on Android. But Toast integrates with industry-leading partners for anything from accounting, reporting, labor scheduling to third-party uh, delivery providers. And our team, uh, you know, our integration team assesses the application queue, certifies each integration before providing production level access to make sure that we're delivering top quality, um, top quality and highly effective integrations for all of our customers. Cool. All right, that's it. Thanks to Jonathan from Toast. This is Restaurant CIO's Flash RFI. More to come. Thanks.